How many people are familiar with the uh, novel 1984? What's two plus two, Winston? Five. And then you get to the whole story of how Winston was forced to believe a lie was the truth. And what's the last line of 1984, once Winston believes two plus two is five? You can't believe two plus two is five. You have to love Big Brother. How many people trust the government? I've been listening to people out here talk about property being taken, innocent people being killed, uh, fraud in elections, fraud in the courts, fraud in everything. But we're told that's a good system. Two plus two is five. How many people see the, the, the government of the United States under the Constitution being applied as it's written in that document? There's a disconnect. We've got one weapon that the powers that be cannot handle. And that's the truth. They want to teach you that truth is relative. And I'm here to teach you that truth is concrete. What's the origin of law? It comes from one of two places. It comes from God or it comes from man. Okay? The truth is it comes from God. Our God is the truth. Jesus is the truth. And when Jesus introduced the Holy Spirit, how did he introduce it? As the helper. The spirit of truth that will lead you to all truths. We're told to justify the wicked and condemn the innocent, both alike, are an abomination to the Lord. We live in a world of political correctness where one side is never allowed to speak. We got a period of our history, the American Civil War, which is vilified without the other side being able to stand up. And I'm here to tell you where we lost America was the, during the American Civil War. How many people know that the state of North Carolina wrote a surrender letter to the United States military on July 1st, 1868? The war was over in 1865. Peace was declared in 1866. Why is the government of North Carolina, the governor, signing a surrender letter to a general of the United States Army in 1868? It's called Reconstruction. It's reconstructing, they weren't building bridges, they were annulling states. The United States Congress coerced the passage of the 14th Amendment. In order to do that, they annulled 10 states of the American Union. They said the only way you're allowed to come back into the Union is if only people loyal to Washington, you take an oath to Washington, then those people can adopt a new constitution and we'll bring that state back into the American Union. Two states called the state of North Carolina have entered the American Union. One was annulled by an act of Congress in times of peace. How many people are taught this in American history? We're not. We don't have the knowledge it takes. We're here thinking the government in place right now was the one put in place by George Washington. That was annulled. March 2nd, 1867. What have they done to the American Civil War when you try to talk about it? As soon as you try to defend it, as soon as you try to bring everything, they want to say the war was about a moral cause. It was slavery. And if you teach anything different, then believe it or not, you just joined the Klan. And your home just got converted from a home to a compound. You're going to be vilified. But who do they hold to a high account? Abraham Lincoln. What did Abraham Lincoln do? What did he say about states having a right to govern by their choice? Okay, what's the Constitution say? Article 3, Section 3, treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them, the states. Were the southern states waging war or were they defending themselves? Who's violating the law? The Constitution of the United States, Article 4, Section 4, Congress shall guarantee to every state a Republican form of government. Reconstruction, did they give us a Republican form of government or did they coerce and force one on us? That's what's in operation today. We said the remedy was, and we did this in 1997, we said the reason we don't have lawful government, no one's participating in it. 
We did a declaration of reestablishment. We said, we're going to reestablish the original state of North Carolina that was annulled by Congress. It's never been changed by the consent of the people of North Carolina. In law, I have no obligation to recognize this entity. I have not had a driver's license in 20 years, over 20 years. Okay? Gets me in their system every once in a while. I go in there, I say, okay, I will get your license if you can prove, because you issued it, you say I'm supposed to have it, I don't think you're created lawfully. If you can show me that Reconstruction, that war that Abraham Lincoln waged and Reconstruction were lawful and constitutional, that Congress has the powers that it did, I will get your license. Otherwise, it's unconstitutional. And what I'm going to do is reestablish the original state. And there were 13 of us. We signed a declaration, just like our founding fathers. We used their principle. This is a peaceful, lawful remedy. But you've got to know where the law was violated. We sent a copy of it. We give notice. And we've been going into court and fighting them, and we're trying to rally troops, the people who want to say, we want to reclaim what was illegally stolen from us. And I want to know how many people here want to reclaim what was stolen from us rather than riding this train wreck to oblivion. We got both booths, the last two booths over there, America's Remedy and NC Republic. I educate, I talk, I, I talk all along the, the East Coast. I've been doing, I've done talks in Massachusetts and Worcester on several occasions. I've talked in Vermont, I've talked in Maine, I've talked in New Hampshire, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee. I would love to come to your neck of the woods. We gotta come together as a people, focused, not divided, what is the problem, and then stand on it. We gotta stand on the truth. The Lord tells us in 2 Thessalonians of the coming with the lawless one, the people ceased having a love of the truth. And the Lord gave them over to strong delusions of where they believe a lie. I have believed lies. I have been given over to strong delusions because I was too lazy to figure out whether I was being lied to by the government and the public education system. It takes effort to get this country back. And the effort is attaining the knowledge it takes. Let's make something happen, people. We gotta get this country back because I see way too much gray out here and how many people have faith in this uh, safe space generation coming along? If we don't do it, they've got it. We've got the truth. We've got to have the Lord on our side. We've got to have a regeneration of the, a movement of the Holy Spirit in this country again. We've got to get back to our roots, back to our foundation. We're here, up here at America's Remedy and North Carolina Republic. Go to our websites, americasremedy.com, ncrepublic.org. Come visit us, guys. We got to get this country back. I'm looking for you. Let's reclaim what was taken from us.